In this video, we will look at solving a literal equation or a formula for a variable, but noticing something interesting. That interesting thing is, depending on the method we use to solve, we might get two answers that look different, but actually represent the same value. We know to start a problem off that has fractions in it, we can clear the fraction by multiplying by the least common denominator. That 2 minus b is a factor making up the denominator, and so we'll multiply it on both sides. When we do this, the 2 minus b's will divide out of the right side, and we're just left with a times 2 minus b equals capital A. An interesting thing to note at this point is that capital A and lowercase a do represent different variables. Quite often in formulas, we'll see a capital or a lowercase letter representing different quantities, so we want to make sure we keep them separate. At this point, remember, we're solving for the b. This b is in parentheses. To solve for that b, we have two options at this point. One option, when we've seen something in front of parentheses before, what we have done is distributed that factor through the parentheses, giving us 2a minus ab equals capital A. Remembering our goal is to solve for the b, so we need to get rid of everything else on that side of the equation, everything else on the left side. We start with the terms that don't have any b's on them by adding and subtracting. We have two positive a's, so we'll put two negative a's on both sides of the equation. This gives us negative a b equals, remembering that capital A and lowercase a are not like terms, a minus two lowercase a. Finally, to get the a alone, or I'm sorry, the b alone that we're solving for, we just need to divide by negative a to undo the multiplication on both sides. This gives us b is equal to capital A minus 2a over negative a. Often, people don't like to have a negative in the denominator, and so we'll multiply the numerator by negative 1 and the denominator by negative 1 to give us b is equal to negative a, oops, capital A, plus 2a over lowercase a for our final answer. That's one way to solve the problem. On the right side here, we're going to solve the same problem for b, doing it slightly different. The first step is the same. We identify the least common denominators, 2 minus b, and multiply that on both sides. When we do, we again get a times 2 minus b, equals capital A. But rather than distributing the a through the parentheses, we have another way we can get rid of it, and that is to divide both sides by that a, dividing it out of the way because it's a times the parentheses. To get rid of it, we divide, giving us 2 minus b equals capital A over lowercase a. Now we have a two-step equation where we can subtract the two, from both sides, giving us negative b equals a over a, minus 2, and then finally, multiplying both sides or dividing by negative 1. This, in effect, will change the signs. So I'll just multiply by negative 1 on both sides, giving us positive b equals negative a over a, plus 2. What we find is we get two answers that look quite different. Both of them are actually correct, though. Let's take a look at why. With this second answer, if we put the negative a over a plus 2 over 1 and get a common denominator by multiplying by a over a, we get negative a over a plus 2a over a, and you notice when we add the numerators together, we get the same result negative a plus 2a over a. With formulas, you might have two different looking results, but they're both correct.